Well, more people are traveling again, especially over the holidays and bringing their pets along too. Whether it's flying, driving or staying in a new place, the change of routines and environment can put some extra stress on both you and your pet. To learn more about how to make the experience more enjoyable for everyone, we are joined by Anna Chrisman with Michigan Humane. And you also have a new adorable pet that needs a home. And our sponsor, the Mike Morris Law Firm, will pay the standard adoption fees for whoever adopts today's pet. Anna, good morning. And who do you have with you? <laughs> hey, Tati. So this clearly handsome gentleman is Fred. Um, Fred is about four months of age and he is looking for a family um, that is going to provide him with pretty much the best that life has to offer, which includes lots of pets, lots of cuddles. He loves to wander around. He loves to explore and climb like many of our cats do. And Fred might actually make the perfect traveling buddy for somebody. <laughs> okay. Okay. So what kind of home would be a good match for Fred? So Fred um, loves exactly what you see here. So he is definitely looking for a home that's going to give him lots of attention. He really enjoys being held. He enjoys being pet. Um, so he is definitely open to meeting homes with kids, homes with other animals, just so long as he can still maintain his, uh, his minimum quota of about six hours of pets per day. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. So step one, that's what you need to be able to do. But what suggestions do you have for pet owners, maybe Fred's new, you know, family who want to travel over the holidays? So it's actually not super difficult to make traveling on the holidays stress-free for you and your pets. So the first thing we always want to recommend is making sure that your pet's microchip and ID tags are up to date before you ever leave the house. Um, in the event that the worst should happen and you become separated, those are going to be the best ways to take your pet back home with you. And you want to make sure that if you are traveling by car, they're using a car-appropriate harness or a crate. Um, so you want to make sure that your pet is always going to be secured and safe, especially in the event of an accident. So your veterinarian or your local pet supply store can definitely provide recommendations for products that they carry to help keep you and your pet safe in the event of an accident or when traveling by car. And then for flying, you want to double check that all of your equipment meets FAA standards. And also they provide some amazing tips on their website for making flying both uh, stress-free and a little bit more friendly for you and your companion animal. Very nice, very nice. Well, I'm sure Fred is going to find a sweet home very, very soon. Anna, thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> Thanks, Tati. And remember, the Mike Morris Law Firm will pay the standard adoption fees for whoever adopts today's pet of the week. And the Mike Morris Law Firm also wants to help you if you need legal help. Visit their website, 855mikewins.com, or call the same, 855 Mike Wins, to find out if you have a case.